Hello YouTube. I'm gonna tell you a story about sexy sci-fi. Turn this off here. Now, when I interviewed this young lady, she appeared to be well-mannered, respectful, and very clean. She's super clean. Super clean. I mean, she walked in, she's just super clean. She was a very nice person. Her individuality was, was different. She's like a little shy, but not hard headed. She didn't come off like a like a diva. I remember one time uh me and my wife were gonna be on this show trading spouses. And the producer says, Is your wife outrageous? Is she like a diva? Don't take no shit from nobody. I'm like, no, my wife was more like calculated and thoughtful. Yeah, so screw up, she will add that shit up and show you where you screwed up in a manner to where she don't understand like an adult would. Apparently we didn't get on the TV show. The producer had all kind of stuff going on. She had this to do, that to do, this to do, that to do. So what does this have to do with how much this young lady loves herself? Well, I'm going to explain to you. She presented herself like a profession. She was clean. She was respectful. She was honest. She was real. I'm like, you know, hey, I'd buy you a cup of coffee, but I drove all the way over here, and I got X amount of dollars in the bank, and I got to drive all the way home. And for me to be a man, I'm like, damn. That's the first time I ever said that to a woman. Hey, I bought you a cup of coffee, but I can't. You know, I'm here on Humbug, yada, yada, yada. And she said, thank you for being here. I mean, the interview that I had with her was one of the best moments I've ever had. You know, talking to somebody, just sitting down. And, and she was real. I'm trying to, trying to get all the real AIX out. And she just said, hmm, hmm. She was respectful. She listened to an old man rant for an hour and a half. Then she watched me try to get my video cameras and all that shit running for another hour. Then I said, forget it. And I grabbed a little bitty camera. A little bitty camera here. I'll tell you the story behind this camera, but not today. And that's where we film the videos. So there's one more video that uh, me and SciFly have not released yet. And in that video, you can truly see the beautifulness in this person. She's kind. She's a very nice person. And you can see that she carried herself like a woman, a respectful woman, the whole interview. She made me look good in the interview. There's one part when the video camera looked like it was showing her section here. And, uh, and I slipped and said, open the, open the camera ain't on your titties. And you know, and well, if you ever see that video, you'll get to see it. But um, she does love herself. And you can tell in how she carries herself that she loves herself enough to be a real woman, a respectful woman. She don't ask for respect. She demands respect in the way she carries herself. And that in itself is a model for all young ladies. You might not have it all. You might not get it all. But if you carry yourself like a woman, you look like the world is at your feet. I'd like to thank you for letting me comment on this video. Because you know how we laugh and joke. Um, thank you for being my friend and talking to me when I need somebody to talk to over this YouTube drum. Glad to see everything is good in your world. And you have been tuned. 
And since they cut my videos, I'm going to let this go for a few, few more minutes by itself without saying nothing. Because I don't trust the way they cut my videos lately. <sighs> oh yeah, people said my videos are too long. So, see if this works. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, 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 one more thing to say. So, when Sci-Fly first showed up, I'm just sitting there, you know, chilling, you know, relaxing, drinking a cup of coffee, and she pulls up in a limo. The limo was pearl white, super duper duper, super duper 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 super stretched. Tell you, that limo was so long, I could put my car in it, and she could have gave me a ride home by driving two blocks. Might be work. How can I help you, sir? Oh, thanks. I sure will. <laughs> See uh, how long you gonna be there? Okay, I'll be there within the next forty minutes. Okay, bye. It's payday, baby. So, like I said, so Sci-Fi pulls up in his limo, right? I'm like, damn, who the hell is this? Oh, I'm here to interview somebody. It's got to be her. So this limo pulled up, right? You know, it's like seven, eight doors had passed me. You know, I'm in front of the Starbucks now, you know, because, uh, you know, brother don't be feeling comfortable sitting waiting in front of the coffee place, you know. I, I thought she was going to flake on me anyway because you know how people fake. So um, this limo pulls up, right? I told you it was pearl on pearl on pearl on pearl white. It had, man, limo was so long, I think it had three states license plates on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not shitting. I mean, this limo was tight. So she gets out the limo. You know, she had her trademark glasses on. I'm like, yep, that's her. You know, the dude, you know, he had his little white tux on. He comes around, opens the door for her. She gets out, man. She got this beautiful, big old, beautiful fur-like giant coat on. And she take off the fur coat and was a regular girl underneath the coat. It's, I swear, if I would have got the video, you would have seen her get out the limo. You're like, man, look at her rich in the motherfucker. You know, but, um. She does love herself. And, you know, I'm telling you. She got out that limo. And then she touched the door, right? And before she took off that big-ass fur jacket, she touched the door. And this other lady jumped out and wiped her hand off. I mean, literally wiped Sci-Fly hand off. Like, you know. And, and then, you know, they frisked me down. You know, and get, put the metal wand around me, you know, and checked me out before I had to interview her. And then it's like, you know, it was it was off the hook. It was like Secret Service. I mean, the girl got it going on. So I thought I was, you know, with with royalty. I mean, this girl put it down. She got the limo and, and the servants and everything. Whew. <sighs> so then we did a regular interview like regular people. You know, Sci Fly is a great friend to have. And it is good to know her because she, she's just a wonderful person. You know, if y'all out there on YouTube want to see a respectful person, look at Sci-Fly because, you know, that's what makes her a lovely person because she loves herself enough for you to see it. And did I tell you about when, they, when, when she took off the jacket, the fur? That shit was like, she took it off, you know, and then had regular clothes underneath it. And I never saw that jacket hit the ground. I don't even remember. I, it was like it floated back into the limo. I mean... You should have seen it. I mean, if I was smart, I would have my boy waiting in the car on the cut, you know, filming all this. But you would not have believed it. You had to see the limo she got out of when we did that interview. I was embarrassed. You should have seen my car I pulled up in. Man! <whistles> Loaned it to a friend. The window don't even roll up no more. Man, my car was towed up. And then it was like... When she's getting ready to leave, I didn't want to get my car first, man, while she getting into the limo. So, hey, listen, keep on watching Sci-Fly. You can learn a little bit from this lady. Um, pay attention to the videos that you see on YouTube. Not everything you see is for you on YouTube. So, uh, check out her videos. I bumped my gums long enough on this one subject for no apparent reason at all. After I tried to stop the video at four minutes, the six minutes of nothing. But you should have seen when she got. Oh man, you didn't see her feet. If you'd have seen her feet, you'd have seen that man. She had a diamond bracelet around her ankle. Oh yeah, look like I could have put them on for sunglasses. Diamonds were so big, you could probably put them on and see the moon. 